I got a package in the mail from Toodles. Inside of it contains the beta board of version 2 M. I'm gonna open up and take a little look inside. I got two of them. Oh, are they already pre-assembled? Yes, they are. Saves you a lot of work? Not really, but uh, the new uh, version 2 has uh, surface mount components to the, the through hole. Bring it in a little closer. Also, uh, it has a RJ45 jack. Built in? It. Yeah. That makes the RJ45 mods a lot easier? No, just... Um, what you do is you have the RJ45 jack in the stick, have the cord coming, and just it plug into here. Okay. And then I'd wire up the imp to the MC Cthulhu. Cool. It also has a spot for a USB jack too. You can actually solder in your own USB jack in no, there. No, I, I, I don't need the USB jack. I just need the, the RJ45. Oh, okay. And you're installing this into somebody's stick here? Yes, I am modding a uh, Chun-Li TE. Um, it's a 361. Modding with the MC Cthulhu and the Beta M board. I'm also going to do an LED mod with it. And also install a Toodles LED uh, controller board. So it's going to be pretty badass. Yes, it is. So this is going to be, has uh, has he put any of those boards in anybody's sticks yet, or is this the first person in the world that's going to have one of these prototype or It'll be one boards? of the first. One of the first, so there is somebody out there who already has one of these. Yeah, because uh, I'm not the only one who's uh, testing out the beta board. Uh, besides the surface metal components that's new on this, uh, and the RJ45 jack, uh, there's new code on the chip to allow auto detection between PS3 and 360 when you use with the MC Cthulhu. The RJ45 jack's not soldered to the board. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the pins now. Do my balls rub against your back? I'm going to be wiring up the imp version 2 to the MC Cthulhu. I'll be wiring up the all those letters G A through F and V to the labels there. Xbox D minus D plus will be soldered to the D minus and D plus for the USB on the Xbox, and then VCC to the VCC spot in the screw terminal. So it's pretty straightforward. Yes, yeah, really straightforward, really easy, and then um. I'll have the RJ45 uh, cable going in from here to the jack when I install it to there. So, so I'm going to go and wire that up. And upgrade the firmware for the MC Cthulhu. And then I'm going to test it. This is a Neutrik RJ45 jack. Show you how to install it into a TE. Let's go. Off this metal piece. You'll also need to take out the button. Jack. Tilt it up a little bit. Line it up, and then just make two little 
not holes, but it's like marks. See where the little marks were? It's trying to drill all the way. That's how you install a Nutrik RJ45 jack where the select button used to be. Uh, since the select button's removed, I'll be remapping the turbo button as a select button in case you really need it. And then I'll make a uh, RJ45 cable to connect through the pass through to the up. Already one side. I'll show you how I do the other side. I'm twisting. Together. And snip you snip snip. Slide it through. That was a special crimper you have for this? Yeah, it just it crimps uh, eight pins. You see the slot for it? Where, right down the middle? Right there. You can also take that out to module, so you can use the, uh, the four pin or the oh, six pin. Okay. Now we can test. Is this the program you use to download the firmware to the chip or whatever? Yes. The okay, fine. Where are you? Whatever this is for. Download it. Hit program. Alright, program. That's it? Mm -hmm. Now it works, all you gotta do is button it up. Well, I also gotta do the LED mod too. Well, let's check the uh, auto detection. Putting up the 360. Patch your 360. Yeah. It should detect. Is yep. that a light on? Yep. I wonder how to try to take off this thing up there. What game is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that Street Fighter you just don't give a shit about? It's already scrapped. Oh wow. That like Actually that came from a PS3 Blu-ray drive. Oh you mean this one? This one right here? Uh, I guess we should try testing on the PS3 now. Let's show the state of this PS3 here. This is actually from the Blu-ray drive, and you need this port plugged in in order to have any games run. But yeah, no holding out any buttons when I plug it in. It's got other detection. You notice when I had to turn on the 360, it was just plugged in, didn't hold any buttons on the unstick. So auto detection works well. Cool. Over on the side is the LED controller board from Toodles. Wired up to the each of the buttons. All the boards are inside. Amp beta is over there. MC Cthulhu is there. Visual 360 PC is there. Let's close this up. Set the ripple effect. 